Hello and welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For those of you who have been around my channel since around summer of 2019, you remember that I did a Let's Play that summer of Mario Kart Wii, and it is one of, if not my favorite Let's Play I've ever done on the channel, just because, one, Mario Kart is just fun to play by default, just the, the racing mechanics have I've, I've never failed to, to entertain me. And two, more importantly, is that uh, because there's not a whole lot to talk about in terms of the game itself, because, you know, Mario Kart Racing doesn't- Oh, I didn't- I don't want to watch the intro- No, game, please, game, 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 please- Please load so I can- so I can tell you to stop playing, please. Please. Game, thank you. Thank- I, I- I like how I have to wait until it loads just so I can skip it. Anyway, more importantly is that during that Let's Play, I found the opportunity because at, at a certain point I ran out of things to talk about in, in regards to the tracks themselves. So I was able to talk about a, a variety of different topics that sparked a lot of discussion in the comment sections about just topics of all sorts of, of genres and just everything under the sun. So I'm excited to do that again and hopefully just have an opportunity to relax, play some uh, some awesome Mario Kart, relax with some racing, and have some casual conversations by myself um, that hopefully will spark some discussion in the comments as well. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go check out my Mario Kart Wii Let's Play. I had a blast playing it, I had a blast, uh, again, really? I had a blast racing around the tracks, and I had a blast talking about really just whatever was, whatever I was passionate about, whatever was on my mind that day. It was kind of, kind of turned into a stream of consciousness in terms of whatever, whatever I was thinking about on that particular day. Uh, but nonetheless, I am, more than anything else, I'm excited to get in and just relax and play some, play some Mario Kart, because it's been a very long time since I've played this, i uh, played this game. Uh... I, I don't, honestly don't remember the last time I played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but uh, I, as you saw on, on the home screen, I did I, I did set up a new profile because uh, on my other on my main profile I have everything unlocked, so there's no point. Uh, what I want to do is I want to start from the beginning and just kind of take you through the whole game from 50 CC to 200 CC, and then I might show off versus and battle mode at the end as well. Uh, we'll see. Well, we're gonna go through all the Grand Prix on all the CCs. I'm gonna try to show off every character and every car combination. Well, okay, not every car combination that would take we'd be here forever, but every every cart piece. Uh, wheel and glider that we can. I'll try to mix and match a lot throughout the series. Should be fun. Hope you're excited. But more than anything else, it's just a nice opportunity for me to relax and chat about whatever's on my mind. So let's get into the Grand Prix. As I said, we're going to be doing 50cc, then 100, 150, mirror, and then 200cc. Now, I ordinarily like to play in 200cc because I'm just used to how fast it goes. But because I haven't played it in a while, I kind of want to ease myself up to it. So we're going to start low and then work our way up to the higher difficulties as we go throughout the LP. I'm going to give us plenty of opportunities to revisit the tracks and hopefully have some awesome races. In the meantime, so we'll start out with 50cc. And to figure for the first episode, we may as well just start with Classic Mario. With the standard cart, standard wheels, and super glider. Oh wait, hold on before I move on. I should probably just check to make sure that... Yeah, we, we, we're, we're going to want to make sure that uh, smart steering and auto acceleration are indeed disabled. Because uh, those can be... Uh, no, I mean, obviously smart steering helps and auto acceleration helps, and if you just turn both of these on and then put the control down, the game will play by itself, but, uh, we don't want to do that. We want to actually race for ourselves, so we're going to, once again, make sure that these two are indeed disabled. And so without further ado, let's dive into the first cup of the game, the 50cc Mushroom Cup. Let's do this. Oh man, it's good to be back, and that's an indication of how long it's been since I've played uh, Mario Kart is that 50cc actually feels somewhat fast. Now, of course, that might seem odd to say because I'm sure for anyone who's who's used to watching other people play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe a bit more regularly, you probably see the play 150cc mirror mode and above, so this probably looks slow as dirt to you, but I have not played at Mario Kart it, just in general. I think, when would be the last time? Probably when I had to honestly... <laughs> Probably when I had to record- Ow! Okay, that was pain and agony. Alright, take this- Is there- Okay, I guess there was no one behind me, but that should hopefully get you. There we go, nice. Um, the- I think the last time I had to play- I, I say had to as if I was forced to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But I think the last time I played this game was honestly- Probably in January. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I can't- I, I can't slow down. So, something I like to do when it comes to spiny shells, if I can, is try to slow down- Ah, okay. Everything just wants to kill me today. Is try to slow down- 
so that, um, like, slowed with stop like this, so that the other, someone behind me will pass me, and then the spiny shrub will target onto them instead. I've done that before, and it's awesome. I actually did that to one of my friends. We were playing, uh, we were playing, uh, on the Switch in, uh, in, uh, handheld mode. Just, uh, to just, just, uh, I think it was, I think it was at lunch break in high school. I was playing with one of my friends, and, um, the spiny shrub was, was, we were on Yoshi Valley, I think that's the name of the course, and, um, I, I was in first place, and I was about to cross the finish line in the third lap, but I saw a spiny shell head in my way, but I also saw that my friend was in second place right behind me, so I, I slowed to a stop like this, let him pass me, let the spiny shell target onto him instead, and he got hit by the spiny shell right before the finish line, and then I crossed, I, I, I crossed, I, I, I passed him in the first place and won, so, yeah, it's cool to do that, but unfortunately, on 50cc, as you can see, they're really isn't a chance in hell that I'm gonna be able to get the opportunity for anybody to 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 get anywhere near me let alone pass me so uh, I don't think we have to worry about that at all uh, so unfortunately I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull off that uh, that trick but who knows maybe in the higher CC I'll, I'll be able to show off that spinach trick but yeah feels feels good to be back in Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe out here okay they just everything is just constantly being fired at me from every direction feels, feels good to be back in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe but yeah I think the last time I actually played this game uh, another see, another spiny shell, really? At, out of the gate, we've been hit by two spiny shells, lightning strikes, shells. Every, I just every everything in the world just wants to kill me today. It's insane. Okay, if I can if I can say a, a, a sentence without no, I can't. Another lightning strike. I just can't speak. I can't say anything without getting hit by a thousand things at once. Okay, let's try this again. The last time that I played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was when I was when I recorded. Uh, the, 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 the teaser footage for the 2021 preview, because the 2021 preview was full of actual gameplay I recorded from all the different games. So I had to, I recorded a quick race, and I think it was Sunshine Airport, and I think I just did the uh, the Star Cup. I did Sunshine Airport, I think I had a, a clip of Dolphin Shoals in there as well. So yeah, that was a... Well, I, I'm pretty sure that is legit the last time I played this game was in January when I had to record the clips for the 2021 preview, and I have not played it since then, but man, I'm excited to get back into this, because I, I love this game. This game is so much fun. Um... Don't ask me to compare it to Mario Kart Wii, because Mario Kart Wii is one of my favorite games of all time, and I don't know that I could pick between them. Nostalgia would probably win out, and I would probably pick Mario Kart Wii, but it's, if I had to, like, remove my 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 personal bias and judge them each objectively, I don't know that I could do that. I, I love these both. Uh, they're both they're both so awesome. But, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to hear what you think. What, what do you guys think? Do you think Mario Kart Wii is better than this, or do you think Mario Kart 8 slash Mario Kart Deluxe is better than Mario Kart Wii? I'm interested to hear what you have to say on that. But anyway, next race... Okay, now it's time for Water Park, which is, um, yeah, so th this, this is a, this, this is gonna be a water level, which, ordinarily, water level's, you know, not the, not everyone's favorite thing in the world, uh, case in point, I think the, I think the, oh, uh, uh, we've barely even begun, an, oh, wait, oh, I think I actually, oh, nice, I think I actually baited the shell into hitting the, the spinning tires or something, so uh, I think I actually managed to avoid that shell, which is pretty neat, so that's pretty cool, anyway, yeah, I think this, uh, I think the the go to example that everyone always uses in terms of uh, in terms of what, uh, what 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 water level they despise. I think everyone's probably gonna have the same answer, which is the labyrinth from the from Sonic the Hedgehog, the first game. Uh, that stage needs to burn in a fire, which I get is funny because haha, water, fire, haha, funny. But seriously, I, I that I. I've made it no secret that I'm, I'm a big fan of the first Sonic game. It's it, it's one of the first... Vi I don't know why I did that. One of the first video games... No, I think it is actually... Like, if you just count all the... Like, Blue takes you to school, and Doors, Lost City Adventure, and Learning with Nemo. Like, all the preschool-era um, PC games. If you exclude all those, the first, like, proper video game that I played was Sonic the Hedgehog. So I definitely have a lot of a lot of memories associated with it. So the Sonic franchise is very, very close to my heart. However, that does not mean that the first Sonic game is flawless. I, I've, al I've always maintained that Sonic the Hedgehog... Oh, another Spiny Shell, huh? That Sonic the Hedgehog was a very good leaping off point for the franchise, and that, like, it, it set the groundwork for, like, this is this is a gameplay system that works well, but there are flaws in it, so now we're going to use what, use the mistakes we made here to craft Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which is just a masterpiece of a video game. So, they, 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 they made a solid foundation in Sonic, the first Sonic game, which they then ballooned into, like, they learned from the mistakes and, and used that foundation to craft something amazing in the second game. Uh, now, some flaws are 
uh, oh, I think, am I, am, I about to, am I about to lab Luigi? I might be about to lab Luigi, I just realized. Well, some mistakes are minor, but then there are some things like Labyrinth Zone would just make you scratch your head and go like, what was the thought process here? I, I, I don't get it. I don't know what the hell the thought process behind uh, Labyrinth Zone was. Because first of all, I think I might be able to lap. I mean, I don't I don't know if I'll be able to catch up to uh, to Daisy. But if I can actually catch up to her, that'd be the second person I'm going to lap in this race. So that would be interesting. But yeah, the, it's like the whole point of Sonic Games is like building a momentum and, well, for lack of a better term, rolling around at the speed of sound. And uh, that's just not what that was. Like, the Labyrinth Zone is just the, the antithesis of rolling around at the speed of sound, so I don't know what the... It's just... And it's not even... Because the thing is, the music is awesome. That... Like, that, that you know, the, the, lab, the Labyrinth music, um, the, the the track. I mean, it's probably inducing PTSD for a lot of people because that's the music you hear when you're suffering through the Labyrinth Zone, but the... That Labyrinth music is really awesome. It just sucks that it's accompanied with such a crap zone. Anyway, what I was trying to say is, most water levels in games, most, I emphasize most, suck. But this, I actually really like this one. It's very, it kind of taught me, like, this is, because the first game I played on the Switch was was this game, and it kind of, like, showed me, like, how how pretty games could actually look on the Switch. Because, I mean, the game looked fine on the Wii U, but it's a whole other level on the Switch, in terms of how, how gorgeous it is. Anyway, uh, next race... Speaking of Sonic games, I feel like this is a good time to bring up the concept of the topic of uh, Sonic Colors, because I don't know about you guys, but every time I, I play this course, the first thing that comes to my mind without fail is, uh, is it called, uh, I actually don't remember what it's called, it's it's the candy uh, level from Sonic Colors, you know, it, I think it's like the, the second level, because the first one is like the 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 tropical resort and then the second one is it is it is it literally just called Candy Mountain? I don't, I don't know. It's been a it's been a long time since I've played uh, since I've played Sonic Colors. I think the last time I played it was twenty ow was twenty fifteen like December twenty fifteen and I've only ever played through it once. Uh, so, but but I, I I do still remember the the like the the, the the candy level where you you have that I think you like jumping through donuts. Just the, the you you know what I'm talking about right? The, the candy mountain level thing. It uh, it very very much reminds me of of this of this track right here because just uh, another Splinter Shell Tunnel. Okay, let's see if I can let's see if I can time this well. If I get right before this stop, come for me, Spiny Shell, and I did not time that well. I probably could have done that, but I think I went I think I went too early. I think I went a little bit too early there. Uh, but I, I definitely could have because because you can you you can use the momentum of boost to try to escape Spiny Shell. I just think I I, I mistimed my uh my my departure from that tunnel there. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of annoying me. I'm gonna look it up between levels to find out what the or between uh, between between courses what uh, what the name of that level is. It's, it's actually kind of annoying me that I don't remember what it is. But that that's, it, that's exactly what it, this reminds me of is, is that candy level. That this generally the aesthetic of it. That in fact that mountain in particular actually looks almost one for one like the mountain that you that you zoom towards as Sonic when you boost off a, a boost ramp. One for one reminds me of that exact uh, that exact mountain from that game. Uh, and the reason I bring this up is because Sonic Colors is going to become relevant again in, in about uh, two months because, well, actually, I guess less than that, because uh, it comes out at the beginning of September, because Sonic Colors Ultimate is coming out, and for those of you who don't know, of all the Sonic games I've played, Sonic Colors is probably my favorite 3D Sonic game. I mean, it's, a clo it's close, but I, I think it might win. Sonic Colors is definitely, I, I, I adore that game, just, I mean, you know, space in general is... I, I've, I've said in previous videos that I just adore outer space. I find it, I find it fascinating. I'm a huge nerd for that stuff. So Sonic in space. I mean, it's not, it's not in Sonic in space to the, to the extent that Super Mario Galaxy is Mario in space. So like, obviously, yeah, Mario Galaxy was a lot more mind blowing. But you know, the concept of, of being on a on an intergalactic resort kind of thing. I'm just getting hit by everything under the sun today. Like an intergalactic resort kind of thing. Uh, mixing that with the uh, with the with the awesome level design, just I really just love everything about it, and the music especially. Like the opening song, "Reach for the Stars," is one of my favorite songs of all time. So just I, I'll talk a little bit more about it when we actually get to when because I I'm gonna do a blind LP of Sonic Colors Ultimate when it comes out because I love I love the original Sonic Colors. But I'll talk more about what I love about the original game when we get to it. But basically, the point of this conversation is um, this this stage reminds me of so Sonic Colors without a shadow of a doubt. Like just one form reminds me of of that exact uh, 
of that exact level from uh, from Sonic Colors. I'll, I'll I'll find the name between between the courses and I'll I'll let you know what I was thinking of. Anyway, next race. Okay, so I looked it up and it's called Sweet Mountain, which is actually one of the first things that came to my mind. Like, the first thing I wanted to say when I said, like, when I started talking about it was, oh, it's called Sweet Mountain. But then I'm like, well, that can't be right because this this game is called Sweet Sweet Mountain. So, so I, I didn't want to say it because it's like, oh, you're just thinking of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I didn't want to make it sound like I didn't know what I was talking about. But no, I actually I actually was correct. My, my initial impulse was correct to say Sweet Mountain. I just... I just didn't, I just, I, I didn't think that was actually correct, but, uh, yeah, the name of the level is called, or, or it's called Sweet Mountain in Sonic Colors, so I guess, I guess that's just, that, that almost makes me wonder if that was meant to be a direct reference to Sonic Colors in that, in that case, because the, the, the name of that course is called Sweet Sweet Mountain, which seems a bit on the nose for that one, but, uh, anyway, yeah, so, uh, one other thing I forgot to mention, although you probably figured it out for yourself, I, that was a failure of epic proportions, um, is, uh, yeah, in case you can tell, I'm a bit out of practice with Mario Kart Deluxe, we, we will improve over the course of the LP, but I am a bit, Bit of practice with some of the my finer, the more finer movements around the courses. But yeah, uh, well, I'm sure you've noticed by this one. But one thing I'll be doing is cutting out the loading times because while they're not, they're not exactly on par with Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 in terms of how long the loading times are, you know, there's there's no real reason to keep them in. Uh, so I may as well just uh, I'm just gonna cut them out so that we can have a more seamless experience between uh, moving between the courses. It, it might be, it honestly might be because I'm just used to the Series X and PS5, which basically don't have loading times like i play Ratchet Clank rift apart and just there there is no loading in that game like in level you can load between the different dimensions instantly and then out between levels there's just like you fade to black and then you fade back in and you're instantly in the, in the next level so it's it's insane uh and series x as well like playing halo and master chief collection halo 5 there loading doesn't exist like you 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 you, pl you, you click play this mission and then you're just in it's, it's like it's actually crazy to think how far technology has come so I'm just I'm just kind of used to that I guess when it comes to loading times not existing anymore uh, so that might be a part of it but even even when I was first starting to play this game I'm like eh, these loading times are kind of long um, which by the way I, I wouldn't oh dear that thing almost crushed me from behind I, I wouldn't cast loading times as like a, a huge detriment because Cuphead is what is my one of my favorite video games of all time and that game can also have some pretty lengthy loading times uh, not anymore like on the series X they're not existing but on the original Xbox one uh, and even on some PCs, loading times can be a bit of an issue, but I, 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 that's like, that's a small element of the game because the core gameplay and is just so phenomenal. So I, I, I wouldn't, same thing here, the, the, the core racing is awesome, so I, I would never list loading times as like, a, oh my god, this game sucks because loading times. But that said, it's like, yes, loading times can be a bit lengthy at times, uh, so I, I, I'm just going to cut them out to, to provide a more uh, experience. Like, even if you personally don't, don't think the loading times are all that long, I'm still going to cut them out just because... I may as well, so there's no reason not to cut them out. So that, that's my thought process there. Anyway, that is the Mushroom Cup cleared out, and that was, that was fine. I mean, this wasn't exactly a huge challenge, because like I said, we're still in 50cc. I'm still still warming up, still getting used to the, the swing of things, but uh, that was fun. That was a, it's nice to be back in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Land. All right, now let's go ahead and view the results. Turns out it wasn't called Sweet Sweet Mountain, it was called Sweet Sweet Canyon, I guess. I guess that just goes to show how how closely I associate the two levels in my head. I, I, I thought it was called Sweet Sweet Mountain because it's just... Wh whenever I think of one level, I think of the other level. I, I think I see so, so Sonic Colors Sweet Mountain, I think of Sweet Sweet Canyon from Arcade Deluxe. So I, I guess it just conflated the two of them in my head. Because they're just... they they, they look really similar. Like, their, their aesthetic design is really similar to each other. So I guess that's, just, that's where that came from. Anyway... You have collected 30 coins. A new vehicle customization option has been unlocked. So we're going to be trying that next episode. I think what I'm going to do is every time we unlock a new uh, 
a new cart piece or a new character i actually wait no we don't we don't unlock new characters because all the characters unlock every time we unlock a new car piece i'm gonna try to make an effort to use that car piece in the next episode so we'll, 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 whatever we unlock which we'll, we'll still have to save a mystery until next time we'll use that uh, uh for the next cup which will be the 50 cc flower cup all right that was fun hope you guys are excited for this lp because i certainly am excited to get back into the, the swing of mario Kart deluxe and just have some fun rest on the tracks and talking about really whatever's on my mind whatever comes to whatever comes to my head Whatever I'm, I'm passionate about talking about that particular day, it'll it should be a blast. I hope you all excited. I hope you all enjoyed this first episode because I I certainly did, and I, I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. So that'll be it for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Goodbye.